Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy, as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. As you can see, the general stock market is down today, with indexes such as the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones trending lower. Yet even with with that being said, we did get good news in regards to United Airlines, in which I personally am an investor of. Yet despite this, United Airlines took off after releasing a strong forecast for the year, despite saying it took a $200 million hit because of Boeing's troubles. And essentially, Boeing supplies various airlines with aircrafts, and many Boeing planes have been grounded due to safety issues, which means that Boeing is causing a lot of airlines to lose millions and millions of dollars. Luckily, it seems that many airlines are still doing all right, which is great news for me because I am a heavy investor into airline stocks. But with that being said, always make sure to do your own research. Now let's move on to talk about Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. We're going to talk more about Tesla in our next article, but I quickly want to tell you what's going on with this company right now. And if you're not familiar with this company, Tesla is an electric vehicle manufacturer, which also specializes in energy storage as well as energy generation. On top of that, this company also specializes in artificial intelligence. So let's talk about their latest news update. According to the article, the electric vehicle company said that at its June 13th annual meeting, it will ask shareholders to vote to reinstate Elon Musk's $56 billion compensation package. For context, this same package was nixed unfairly by a Delaware judge, so now the company is turning to shareholders for their approval. The article goes on to say, though shareholders voted in favor of the plan in 2018, the new vote is coming as Tesla's value is slipping amid increased competition from Chinese manufacturers and slowing demand for electric vehicles. The company also wants shareholders to greenlight Musk's plan to move the company's incorporation from Delaware over to Texas. At the end of the day, Delaware just hasn't done justice to Elon Musk, so he wants to move his company over to Texas like he has done with some of his private companies. And overall, I think this is a pretty good move, but I would love to hear your thoughts about this story down below in the comments. We're also going to talk more about Tesla right after these quick news updates, so let's quickly go through these. Boeing, like we said earlier, is an aircraft manufacturer and recently a whistleblower says, and I quote, they are putting out defective planes, end quote. Obviously, this is not good news for Boeing as a company or their share price because Boeing is receiving a lot of negative PR right now. However, I personally am still investing into Boeing right now. I know this may not be popular right now, but I personally like to invest into fundamentally strong companies, even if they are receiving negative news updates. However, I always encourage you to do your own research. And after we go over these last few news updates, we're going to talk about the best stocks to buy. So stay tuned for that. Next up, let's talk about Eli Lilly. Ticker some LLY. The reason why Eli Lilly is in the news today is because of their weight loss pharmaceutical named Zepound, which apparently also reduces sleep apnea, which is great news for this company and their shareholders. This should invigorate Eli Lilly's already very high share price, and I also personally hold Eli Lilly in my portfolio. Next up, let's talk about Google and their latest news update. According to the article, Google employees were arrested while staging a sit-in to protest the company's work with Israel. Then lastly, we have Disney, ticker symbol DI which is a gigantic entertainment behemoth. It seems that the House of Mouse is under some pressure, considering that Disneyland staffers, who dress as characters for their parks, have officially filed a petition to form a union. Clearly, this will negatively impact Disney and their overall share price, so feel free to stay tuned for any news updates in that regard. But now let's move over to talk more about Tesla. This company has been falling in their share price over the last few months, but I am still buying this company hand over fist right now. The reason why Tesla is in the news is because the Deutsche Bank lowered their rating on Tesla from a buy rating to a hold rating. Deutsche Bank lowered their rating for Tesla because the firm pointed out the high likelihood of the Model 2 launch being pushed out and delayed to prioritize their robo-taxi business. If you didn't know, the Model 2 launch is supposed to happen sometime in 2025, while the robo-taxi business is anticipated to have a huge catalyst in early August. But it seems that many analysts believe that Tesla will actually push out and delay the launch of their Model 2 so they can prioritize and focus on their robo-taxi business, but only time will tell. According to the Deutsche Bank analyst, they went on to say the following, and I quote, 
The delay of the Model 2 efforts creates the risk of no new vehicle in a Tesla's consumer lineup for the foreseeable future, which would put continued downward pressure on its volume and pricing for many more years, requiring downward earnings estimate revisions for 2026 and beyond. He goes on to say, Without any new vehicle, we feel that Tesla could face more headwinds to growth as competition arise in China and from other original equipment manufacturers to which the company may not be able to respond due to limited free cash flow. You should also know that Deutsche Bank didn't just lower their rating on this company from a buy rating to a hold rating, but they also slashed their price prediction for Tesla's TSLA shares down from $189 to just $123 per share. Given this news, investors also started to sell Tesla more aggressively to where the company fell by 2.07% in their share price down to just $152 per share. Like I've mentioned before, during this time I am still buying Tesla hand over fist and if it drops below $150 I'm just gonna buy more. But again, Tesla does not make up more than 5% of my overall portfolio so we should always remember to practice proper risk management and I would love to hear your thoughts about this company down below in the comments. Next up let's talk about some good news in regards to financial stocks because JP Morgan Chase, ticker symbol JPM, Citigroup, ticker symbol C, Bank of America, ticker symbol BAC, Wells Fargo, ticker symbol WFC, Morgan Stanley, ticker symbol MS, and Goldman Sachs, ticker symbol GS, have been doing very well recently. As of late, all of these institutions have actually topped and beat earnings and revenue estimates, which is great news. After all, financial companies play a huge part in the backbone of the economy, so as they continuously do well, this is great for the general stock market as well as consumers and investors. We should also still keep in mind that we are still in a high interest rate environment, which actually allows various financial institutions to earn more money on the loans that they give to consumers. However, there is a give and take here because as interest rates rise, we see less and less people actually wanting loans. And vice versa, we also see when interest rates lower, we see more people wanting loans. Yet it seems that financial institutions get to play both sides of this, and that's why I personally own a lot of financial institutions in my personal portfolio. Next up, let's quickly talk about cryptocurrency news in regards to Bitcoin as well as Ethereum because according to Hong Kong regulators, they have approved a spot Bitcoin and Ether ETF, which is going to be great news for both of these cryptocurrencies. On top of that, Sam Altman, which has deep ties to OpenAI as well as ChatGPT, his own WorldCoin, said that they are launching an Ethereum Layer 2 dubbed WorldCoin, and I'm sure that is going to have a positive catalyst once that is officially launched. Lastly, for cryptocurrency news, you should know that ApeCoin stumbled by 30%, and this just goes to show you how volatile cryptocurrencies can be. So again, always make sure to do your own research whether or not you invest into stocks or cryptocurrencies. Now let's round out the latest news updates before we start talking about the best stocks to buy right now. So to round out our news update, let's talk about Alaska Airlines, ticker symbol ALK. This company recently got good news considering that their planes are back in the air after their flights were temporarily grounded because of a system issue. We also have great news for Amazon, which is a gigantic e-commerce company, ticker symbol AMZN, which I personally hold in my portfolio. Amazon recently came out to say that they plan to sell their grocery scanning dash carts to other food retailers, which is great news for this company and many other companies. Lastly, we have some video game news in regards to Take-Two, which is the publisher of Grand Theft Auto, said that they will cut 5% of their staff and scrap several of the games they have in development. But this is not just Take-Two's problem, considering that other companies such as Sony, Microsoft, and even Epic are all laying off people. Now clearly Microsoft, in my opinion, is going to be the best investment out of these video game companies, but I would love to hear your thoughts about this down below in the comments. And now let's move on to the best stocks to buy right now. To start our list off, we have none other than Netflix, ticker symbol NFLX, which is a video streaming platform. Netflix also came out with some news today because apparently they will no longer report membership numbers starting next year on their earnings results. But subscribers and members are not the only metric that they will stop displaying. For instance, the company will also stop reporting a key profitability metric in regards to average revenue per member, also known as ARM. It seems that Netflix is shifting their revenue model to include more advertising tiers and extra membership fees. Now this kind of makes sense considering that these metrics aren't directly connected to the number of members, however they will tend to update their investors periodically when they reach major milestones. In the meantime, the company will continue 
continue to report and focus on other metrics, including operating income, operating margins, net income, free cash flow, earnings per share, and revenue, of course. Now, you should know that they are not alone in this, considering companies like Apple and Amazon also do not reveal their subscriber figures, respectively. So this shouldn't be a huge deal. And considering that Netflix is trading at around $610 per share, this company still has loads of upside, according to analysts. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below in the comments. Next up, let's talk about another company which we've reported on quite a bit on this channel, and that would be none other than Intuitive Surgical, ticker symbol ISRG. If you didn't know, this company is a robotic surgery behemoth, and recently their share price absolutely exploded in the best way possible. The reason for this is because they launched their next generation system, and on top of that, the company won FDA approval clearance for their Da Vinci 5 system on March 14th. As of right now, according to the article, Intuitive Surgical has placed eight new systems. And according to their chief executive, he says the following, and I quote, We are pleased by the feedback from our measured Da Vinci 5 launch, as well as the continued adoption of single port and four lung biopsies. And we remain focused on delivering the goals we share with our customers, including improving patient outcomes, end quote. In general, this is a pretty solid company. And overall, according to the article, Intuitive Surgical earned $1.50 per share, minus some items, on $1.89 billion worth of sales in the first quarter. This is great news, because this actually beat Wall Street estimates, because Wall Street thought the company was only going to bring in $1.42 per share, but they actually brought in $1.50 per share. On top of that, for revenues and sales, the company was anticipated to bring in $1.87 billion, but they actually brought in $1.89 billion. Therefore, earnings climbed by 22%, and sales jumped by 11.5%, and this is what has caused the share price to absolutely explode in the best way. So I would highly recommend you do your own research into this company to determine whether or not it's good for your personal portfolio. Next up, let's talk about one of my favorite AI stocks right now, and that would be none other than Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, ticker symbol TSM. And recently, the company fell by 5% in their share price, which could give investors a great buying opportunity, in my opinion. The reason why investing into this company right now may be a good move is because the company's management expects 2024 to be a healthy growth year for TSM. That's why investors may want to jump in right now before the company starts to grow very rapidly. The reason why the company's share price dropped by 5% was because investors were less than impressed with their financial results. A VP from the company even said, and I quote, Our business in the first quarter was impacted by smartphone seasonality, end quote. If you didn't know, TSM actually provides chips for some of the world's largest technology companies, which would include Apple, NVIDIA, and AMD. Therefore, I agree with the VP, and I believe the seasonality will eventually wear off, and this company will start to uptrend in their share price once again. And we're also going to talk a little more about Apple in regards to their smartphone sales in our next article. You should also know that for the second quarter, TSM expects revenue to be between $19.6 billion and $20.4 billion, while the consensus revenue estimate is around at $19.08 billion. But overall, I think this is really good news for this company, and I believe they are fundamentally very solid. But now let's talk about one of their customers, which would be none other than Apple, which is a gigantic technology company that I am heavily invested into. So let's talk about them. Apple, ticker symbol AAPL, is a gigantic technology company that is known for their personal computers as well as their iPhones. And if you didn't know, the iPhone 16 is right around the corner. According to Bernstein, he says, and I quote, We expect most AI features to be unveiled with the iPhone in September, as opposed to at WWDC, consistent with other key software features like Dynamic Island, Siri, and FaceTime, all of which were introduced at the time of phone launch. In a nutshell, the iPhone 16 will be released with a lot of new AI features, which means that this is going to increase the amount of revenue at Apple and other companies, including Taiwan Semiconductor. The article goes on to say, Bernstein expects the iPhone 16 at minimum will offer AI features, also known as artificial intelligence features, similar to that of the Pixel 8 and the Galaxy 24 from their competitors. This is why Bernstein rates Apple stock as a buy rating, and it gives them a price target of $195 per share, despite Apple sliding by 13% year to date. I can't stress this enough. When a fundamentally solid company drops in their share price, right then is the best time to buy this company, and that's why I am personally buying Apple and adding them to my portfolio right now. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below in the comments. Next, let's talk about Micron, which is a company that really doesn't get a lot of publicity, but I really like this company, and their ticker symbol is MU. The reason why this AI technology company is in the news is because they will be awarded $6.1 billion worth of grant funding, which is great news, and this will come directly from the US government. This is all to support 
support their planned projects for advanced memory computer chips, and that's exactly what Micron specializes in. But Micron is not the only company receiving money, because so far, six preliminary awards were handed out under the CHIPS Act. And other companies that have received money would include companies like Intel, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, which we talked about previously, as well as Samsung. The point of the CHIPS Act is to boost the United States chip making capabilities. And this ultimately will reduce the United States' reliance on making chips over in Asia, or at least buying chips from Asian companies. In general, this should provide around $39 billion in manufacturing incentives, and that's why these companies are being awarded. And I think Micron Technology is going to benefit greatly from this news. And that's why I personally am investing in a Micron right now. But I'd love to hear your thoughts down below about this company or any of the other stories that we've covered so far. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.